You can lock cells within your worksheet so that nobody else can make changes to the cell, or you can hide content within a cell. For example, you can see that I've got some numbers over here, but when I select the cell, the content or the formula shows up on the formula bar. If there are particular formulas I don't want other people to see, or maybe because I don't want them to copy them, I can actually hide these when anybody clicks on one of these cells that has content that's going to be displayed up in the formula bar. So to do that it requires two steps. First of all I need to select the range of cells that I want to lock or hide. First I'm going to lock these cells so nobody else can make changes to them. Select it, right click within the selection range here. When you right click, then go down and left click on format cells. Be sure to go click on the protection tab, check the box, locked, and of course down here it tells us that locking or hiding things don't take effect until you protect the worksheet. First we have to lock them and hide them and then later on we're going to protect the worksheet with the password. Lock it, click OK. Again it's not taking effect just yet because we have a few more things we want to do. I'm going to select these uh, cells over here and I'm going to right click, go down to format cells left click and then check hidden and click OK. So it doesn't take effect yet but the cells are ready so when I protect the worksheet when I click on this cell here it's going to hide the formula here. When I click in this cell and try to change the numbers it's going to lock it and prevent me from doing anything. Now I'm ready to protect my worksheet. Go under the tools menu down to protection and then over and click on protect sheet. It'll ask me for a password and you can see the box is checked to protect worksheet and contents of locked cells. Now when I protect it, it does more than just prevent me from what I selected to lock these cells so I can't make changes to them or view what's over in these cells that are supposed to be hidden. You can see a list of other things down below here that allows the user to do additional things. For example, if I just leave the defaults and I simply type in a password and hit enter, it asks me to confirm it, so I'll type in the password again, hit enter. Because I left the defaults, you'll notice that I can't do any formatting. I can click on B for bold and I for italics, but it's not bolding what I have selected. So unless I go through that list and check or uncheck additional features, I'm pretty much locking a lot out that the user can't do or perform in the worksheet. So let's go ahead and try it. Let me click on one of these cells that I locked and let me try to type something in there. It tells me you can't modify it unless you have a password to unprotect this worksheet. Let's go ahead and click in one of these um, cells that I selected over here that I wanted to hide the content of the cell. And you can see when I select it, nothing's listed up in the formula bar here. Now anybody, if they have the password, can unlock this. And to do so, they need to go back to the Tools menu, down to Protection, and Unprotect it, and type in their password. And then hit Enter on the keyboard, and that unlocks it. And you can see that I now can do my formatting, B for bold and I for italics. I'll undo those. And the other thing is, is that even though we've unprotected it, when you click and drag and select it and right click and go back to format cells, it's still checked. And you can uncheck that and click OK and also undo this. And the reason why I want to undo it, because if I select other cells and I forget that I have those cells right now checked and I protect it, then, well, that can be confusing to keep track of. So immediately I want to unprotect it. So what I want to do is, if I'm finished with this, I want to go back and unhide and unlock everything. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.